Gas prices are out of control. How can we manage this pain at the pump? Okay, 33 Gwei is not terrible. It's been as high as 2000 this year, but just a few minutes ago it was single digits. With gas prices rapidly fluctuating, what's the best way to integrate this and test this using Brownie? Fortunately, Brownie is a bunch of robust testing capabilities. We're gonna explore a few of them today. At this point, most of what we've done here is review. We've added some helper functions into our scripts folder, which you can review from our GitHub repository. The important thing that may be conceptually new is that we're working with F pools this time. And when you work with F pools, you can't make a, a prove and transfer because F is not an ERC20 token. So if you want to get F into a curve pool when you're adding liquidity, simply pass the value when you're signing your transaction. That will wire that amount of way and that will get the money into the pool. Other than that, let's walk through what things are doing here. We actually commented these lines out so we could run it by default. By default, there's not going to be any gas considerations. And we're going to be converting everything to raw US dollars. So we grab the curve and the F price. Our base state is we're going to start in pool 13. This is the Seth pool. We've deposited one Ethereum. And we have claimed our rewards after 24 hours to see how we do. And we ran it earlier over here and we passed the silent flag so we don't get to see every transaction as it comes through. But we see in this case, we made 18.3 cents after a day from staking one Ethereum. Not bad. If I had staked one Ethereum worth of dollars into a US bank account, I wouldn't get 18.3 cents after several years. We then revert using the chain revert command. We took a snapshot before we ran this and we're trying a new strategy. If instead of just leaving it in Seth pool for a day, what if we redeposited? So that would be this function here in our helper function. We actually destake the money from Seth and restake it into pool two, AF. And then we again calculate our rewards after a day. And we see that there's a small amount of fees. So we didn't stake a full F the second time. We are down to 0.997, but this pool is getting slightly better rewards, 19.8. This is pretty good, 19.8 versus 18.3. Mathematically, we should just restake this automatically, right? This is a better deal. Well, let's look at gas prices and see how it fares under this. We're dealing with two functions. We have gas now strategy. There's a wide variety of gas strategies we can deal with, and we'll be looking at some in the future. In this case, gas now is simply a way of pinging the gas now API and pulling in the value, be it rapid, fast, standard, or slow, that the network is currently seeing. We pull in a gas strategy of rapid, which in this case is going to be a little bit above 30 GUI. You can pass a gas strategy to each transaction, but we want to apply this to every transaction. So we're going to set our gas price globally, and we do this using the brownie.network import gas price. Once we call the gas price function, this is setting the default gas strategy for everything. One final note before we run it, we've also edited our Brownie config file. We don't wanna to have to type network equals mainnet fork every time. So we're just setting that as the default network. You can also use the networks to deal with some gas strategies, but we're not gonna cover that this time. So let's run our ether script. And we'll again run this in silent mode because we don't need to see every transaction. But when we run it this time, we should expect to see the values come back a little bit different. Hyphen I is going to run it in an interactive fashion because we've built a few scripts to let us further investigate the gas usage. Here comes our Seth pool, which is still making us gone up ever so slightly. We make 18.4. That's not terrible. Maybe a consequence of the fact that F is going a little bit up in value. It's 2037 over here. But when we redeposit, we notice a couple of things. Our redeposit amount dropped pretty significantly. It was 0.9997. With gas, we're down to 0.9923. And even worse, when we then redeposit, it's an additional $36 worth of gas to get in there. So we may have gained 19.8 cents, but we end up losing 36.255 cents. Not so good. So within our 
script, I built this little function called calc gas, which is going to look backwards through an uh, in number of transactions. We know that there are six transactions in total. Three of them are getting us pretty close to this gas here. We see that the last three transactions cost a lot of gas in terms of adding liquidity, depositing, and approving. And if we look back even further through the last six transactions, in total it costs us about 57 cents in gas, $57 in gas. If you want to get a better trace on any particular transaction, you can use this history property. The calc trace call trace off by a letter is going to give you a pretty detailed reading of where the gas is being used. There's a lot more capabilities we're going to get to when it comes to Brownie gas usage, but the important part is that we've ran this script and we've realized that $36 may not be worth it. We're just going to sit tight in this pool until either gas comes down or rewards change by a more significant amount. If you have questions please, or any comments, please drop them in the comments.